Behind Mayor John Cooper's $10 million Nashville recovery plan is a renewed emphasis on mental health. Levi Ismail is taking a closer look at co-responding and why it's fast becoming a priority in Metro Nashville. For most of what we saw from this perspective on Friday, Metro Nashville officers were trying to negotiate. For in that particular situation, it was very active. It was fluid at the moment. On Greer Road, officers were told this woman was suicidal. We'll relay the circumstances of what's occurring on that particular call. And the mobile crisis unit offers recommendations. But sometimes, and if it's safe to do so, a mental health specialist arrives on the scene. It's called co-responding. I mean, I can't even describe how important it is to have those folks on scene to assist you. Inspector David Imhoff is part of the new Office of Alternative Policing Strategies. He says co-responding is still very new in Nashville, but it has the support and for good reason. Well, if you arrest, it's just going to delay the process of getting them the help they need. As part of Mayor John Cooper's $10 million Nashville recovery plan, we noticed co-responding was noted as a priority that needs more funding. I'm delighted honestly, uh, that the interest is there. Robin Nobling of the National Alliance of Mental Illness agrees co-responding helps not only officers, but families who often are the ones who have to call the police. They're going to be able to feel better about the fact that someone is taking their loved one's behaviors into consideration. Sometimes the behaviors they exhibit, you know, they can't control. So we got to find out as a community what is the best way to best serve those folks at the same time uh, make sure people are safe. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. This plan still needs to be approved by Metro Council, but if it is, Inspector Imhoff says, Nashville could begin deploying more co-responders in the upcoming months.